Hi Aries, what's up? This is your reading for the month of August 2019. Thank you guys so much for joining. Pisces are us. Y'all really showed out on your video last month, so I had to get yours out as one of the first, even though I never get these videos out on time. <laughs> but let's see what's going on, Aries, for you guys. All right, so we have the Five of Swords here upright. The Lovers, wow, and then we have the um, Six of Pentacles in reverse, hmm. All right, Aries, all right, you may be feeling some competitive energy coming your way here. I'm getting a sense of you could be in a third-party situation um, with this Five of Swords coming in next to this Lovers energy. You could feel as if you have to compete for someone's attention, for someone's love, all right? You could really feel as if there's a bunch of suitors coming towards the person that you are trying to suit or that you want to suit you. And you could feel like this person um, has a lot of options. All right. And it's up to you to kind of cut off those options with this five of swords. You feeling like you just aren't having it. OK, um, you are ready to win at all costs. You're ready to get who you want to be with or get whatever it is that you want. Um, at all costs since this is a lover's energy it's about partnership it's about union but like I said it's about choices as well so somebody has a lot of options and I think you are ready to play this game Aries it's like hey if I gotta compete and you know do some dirty shit for the person I need to be with and that's what I'm gonna do um, just be careful Aries be careful that you are not getting in too deep into a situation that is going to be negative all right you don't want any um drama you may want some drama but i'm telling you right now i don't think you should feed into any type of drama um if there is a person that you are interested in or a person that you feel very much so connected to you could feel like this person is your soulmate your twin flame something like that you just need to hold on to the fact that if you're meant to be with them they will come towards you all right, or the universe, God will bring the both of you towards each other. Okay, you shouldn't have to lie, cheat, and steal to be with a person. So just know that, um, just know that you don't have to um, force anything. It's okay to let your guard down. It's okay to to kind of just let things fall into place the way they need to. Okay, now we have the Six of Pentacles here that came in the reverse. It's telling me that a lot of people may be asking from a lot from you right now, Aries, and you're just not here for it. OK, you're not feeling as if you want to give your time and your energy and your money towards just anything or anyone. All right. You also could be feeling as if you are lacking in the finances um, in the financial department right now. You could feel like money just is not flowing towards you the way that you would like it to. OK, on another end, you could have a lot of debt and you could be feeling super stingy with the resources that you do have like I said earlier so but there are people with their hands out or there are people that you feel like need your support so I don't know if you have children I don't know if you're supporting your family um, maybe your parents are older and you're helping them out it's it there's definitely a sense that people need something from you and you just feel like you don't have it to give at this time all right and that could really be weighing on you Aries because you guys like to be the ones to you know seem as if you have it all together and if anyone needs anything you know you'll be there for them if you really fuck with them like that but in this point in time it's, it's just like you don't have it right now like the resources that you do have are tied up and you just can't give anything else to anyone else um besides yourself at the moment you know you have to be selfish at this time that's how you feel about it let's see if we can clarify i'm really interested in this lover's energy with this five of swords here so can you clarify the flavor of energy for Aries? God, I'm just wearing this. And that's just to help Aries to clarify. All right. The high priestess and the temperance. Wow. So you could be dealing with like a Sagittarius or maybe a Pisces um, or maybe a Virgo with this high priestess too. But wow, Aries. So you're feeling like. You're feeling like things are very off balance right now, which is why I was saying earlier, like, it's just, you're not feeling 
comfortable enough to give what you have because you feel like things are just off balance. This high priestess, you also feel like you're not following your intuition right now. You're not able to hear yourself or your inner voice. So a lot of what you're going through, Aries, could be confused energy. Like, like I said, it could all be tied back to this lover's card. You could feel as if you are are soulfully connected to someone where you feel out of control because of this connection and you feel like you have to win to get this person and you feel like you have to win to get your your finances in control and you feel like people want so much from you it could just be a lot where you're just feeling not like your normal selves and you guys really need to take time to step out of everyday life for a second to get recentered and to get reconnected with yourself, okay? You guys could have been juggling a lot of things and just dealing with a lot um, of different energies and so much so that you neglected to support your own energy. And so now you feel super out of place and you just feel like things are just off balance, okay? It's just you've been doing too much with this temperance in the reverse. You've just been doing way too much. Your cups are falling short you don't have a lot to give to anyone at this moment so for august um aries i would suggest that you guys really take the time to step away like i said from even if it is your soulmate even if this is a person who wants to spend the rest of your life with that's fine but you have to put yourself first in order to be the best person for your partner coming in for you so don't be afraid to take two steps back chill out turn your phone off for a second Call off work shit if you need to. If you're not going to lose your job, just call off. Give yourself a break because there's a lot of um, a mental um, anguish on you right now. And you really need to just get recentered, get refocused, and get back to Aries. You know, get back to who you truly are. All right? So I hope this um, message helped you, Aries. Please let me know if it did in the comments below. I will have an extended love reading um, in the description box if you guys are interested in checking that out. Also, go to my website, PiscesRUs.com, for a personal reading. Thank you guys so much. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.